Our Eagles will not have the same problem two weeks ago. So, welcome to the AW Review. So, so, the show kicked off with Christian Cage's first match in seven years against Freaky Kazarian, in which I had I really had higher expectations in this match. It, I thought it was going to be a TNA classic, even though it was a pretty good match. Yes, because like Christian Cage looked really gassed out in half the match, and and Frankie Kazarian was mostly dominating Christian before Christian could was able to make a comeback. But before one minute remaining throughout the time limit of the match, Christian Cage wins. And then we have Darby Allen sending a message, a promo to Matt Hardy after his after Matt Hardy's actions last week during the TNT title match. Darby Allen calls out Matt Hardy, and he says, "Money breaks happiness. Money changes everything." And then we have Cody Rhodes versus QT Marshall with the worst wrestler ever, QT Marshall. QT smacks Arn Anderson. And then we have QT, Nick Camarado, Aaron Solo, and Anthony Agogo turn on the Nightmare family. And attacking everybody, QT Marshall hit a package power driver to Dustin on the steps and then try to try to hit a concerto to Cody on the steps. But Red Velvet rescues. I thought Red Velvet was going to turn heel, to be honest. And then we have a weird tag team unitization where we have um, Ego, Ethan Page, and Scorpio Sky are now a tag team. And they're going to team up at Elevation. Then we have Jade Cargill attacking um, Red Velvet during an interview. And then we have John Moxley versus Cesar Bernoni. And John Moxley wins. And then... MJF's gift is a stylist or like a stylist for the room because they took over the inner circle room. Okay, okay. Okay, Cody. Yeah, so. And then the inner circle was in the bathroom and Jake Hager came out of the main door attacking the pinnacle. Sammy um, slammed the door on Sean Spears and then Jake Hager chokes on Wardlow on a, on one of the on one of the medical seats, and then LAX kill FTR and Tully Blanchard. They busted Dax Harwood open, put put cash in ice, and then strangle Tully. And then we and then Jericho sends MJF through a vending machine. Before that, he gave him a swirly by put by shoving him into a toilet. And then we go to the next match, and it's Bullet Club, Kenny Omegas, and Good Brothers versus Lucha Bros, and the Laredo Kid. Don, before that match, Don smacked Matt Jackson. And then we have, and then, and then Kenny and Good Brothers win. Pretty, pretty, pretty great match. Great six man. And then the semi main event where we have Ali and Nyla Rose versus Ty Conte and Hikaru Shida. Ali and Nyla Rose win by Ali. Hitting a kendo stick on Ty Conti and hitting the Finn Balor move, and Ali went and Al- Ali wins the match. I almost said Ali. And then we have the main event, an arcade anarchy match. We have Miro and Kip Sabian versus Chuck Taylor and Orange Cassidy. I had really high expectations, and these expectation expectations were pretty good. And they actually gave so they actually gave me greatness. Chris Statlander returned and attacked Penelope Ford. And then Trent and Sue returned. Trent pulled a John Cena and returned a few months earlier than he was supposed to have. And Trent speared Miro through a table and Chuck Taylor hit a pile driver on Kip Sabian through some some stage props. And Chuck Taylor and Orange Cassidy win. And Chuck Taylor will not be the butler of Miro. Best friends for you and I, um, if I can get it. No, 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 no. There. There it is. There it is. Best friends reunite. Not only the inner circle return, but the best friends return. Alright, so. AW went off the air. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. See you guys.
and tune in in the next video.